have your Bible and look with me. We're going to go over. And we want to start in the third chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. And maybe go down to the fourth chapter. We start with the uh, John the Baptist he was baptizing uh, the people in Jordan and he began to see the Pharisees and Sadducees begin to come out to him in uh, the wrong he referred to them as a generation of Jews. and he asked them who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come he told them to bring Therefore, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. And he told them not to think within themselves, uh, say within themselves, that we have Abraham to our father. Uh, he said, I say to you that God is able of these stones round about the river bank uh, to raise up children unto Abraham. He said, now also the axe is laid to the root of the tree. He said, therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. He said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. And he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. He said, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He said his fans in his hand that he would truly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner. He said that he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. And this is where we want to start out at, the 13th verse. He said, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. And comest thou to me? Jesus answered him, said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened, unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Chapter 4. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. He answered said, It's written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, saith him on the pinnacle of the temple, saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bow thee up lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil take them up to an exceeding high mountain and showeth them all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. 
For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Praise the good Lord. Can I ask the Lord this evening to give me something uh, for service tonight? This, just this little portion of Scripture. Kind of begin to lay upon my heart. And uh, not knowing uh, exactly which way the Spirit would lead me. Uh, just felt impressed to read it too. But as we begin to look and we begin to see how the, the Lord... Uh, how that John had bore witness of him and testified of him. And, uh, how that he was uh, doing his father's will. He went down and he got baptized. Uh, purified. And after he was baptized, how that the, the heaven opened up and the Holy Ghost came and rested upon him. And, and the voice of his father spoke out of heaven. And uh, you know what he said? He said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Look like things are going pretty good. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And then the Bible said then, another place said, Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. And this place said, then was Jesus led of the Spirit. And I've heard preachers that the time a year ago began preaching that it was the devil that led him. Uh, but if your Bible is actually according to King James, you'll notice that that Spirit is a capital of heaven. Amen. And that means the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he done, he went and got baptized, and the Spirit of the Lord sat down upon him. And then it was time to be tested. It was time to be tried. And the Spirit led him up into the wilderness. I thought they'd been batting up just be out there in the, what we call the middle of nowhere, but another part of the gospel said that there was wild beasts out there where he was at. Uh, but he began to fast. I believe when the Spirit began to move on him and begin to lead him up, and you can't read it in the Word of God, but there's evidence here to attest to what I'm going to tell you. I believe that the Spirit did not to instruct him to take any bread with him. I believe when the Lord God began to deal with His Son, I believe He kind of felt, don't take no water. Don't take no food. I want you to go to the place that I'm going to send you to. Praise the Lord. And when He got out there, here come the old devil. After all the power that He had experienced, after the testimony that was born with His Son, and even His Father, looked out of heaven and said, This is my beloved Son. The first thing the devil wanted to do when he came to him was cause him to doubt yeah. what God had told him. Yeah. God had said, this is my beloved son. And the first word the devil said, if thou be the son of God. Praise the Lord. Every time the devil comes to you, you want to cause you to doubt out what the Lord has spoken to you. Amen. Yeah, you stay right with me tonight. There's none of us in you to the temptation of any enemy. There's none of us tonight above being tempted by an old Satan. But I tell you what the difference is, and I tell you my heart this evening. I thought one thing about the Lord Jesus when the temptation came around. He was a man that had got out ahead of the temptation. He was a man that had prepared before the temptation. He was a man that was ready for the temptation. Hey, have you known that, Brother Jesse? Well, he had done uh, fulfill the commandments of God. He'd already fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Well, he wasn't out there just sitting around not eating. That man was praying and seeking God. He had already gone ahead of the temptation. Amen. We're not careful. We sit around. We wait till temptation gets. Yes. And then we go pray. Sure, yeah. Then we try to get a hold of God. But the Son of God had already got a hold of His Father. I mean, he had something that would keep him. I'm going to tell you tonight, and, and you know how we believe and how we teach, how we preach. Those of you that's got the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. What do you think that that Holy Ghost is for? How often that we said we feel like we're powerless? We feel like we that the enemy's got so much more power than we do. But if you sit and you're ahead of that temptation, if you were ahead of the devil, if you already went ahead of time and got prepared, then when the temptation comes, you've got power over that enemy. Yes. You may say tonight and feel like you do. I've heard people that live like the devil. The old hypocrite church. A 
seem my way and then try to get up and command the devil. Try to have power over the devil. You don't have power over him. God got power over him. They hold him up. They got power over him. But it's up to you and I to get ahead of the temptation. Begin to come to him first thing. He's going to the Son of God. Many times you ever set your heart to seek the Lord? It seems like no sooner that you get started, here comes the adversary. And the first thing he wants to do is, is cause you to have doubt. He wants you to doubt the promise of God. He wants you to doubt that what you're even doing is going to make any kind of difference. He wants you to break over what the first thing you wanted to tempt him with. A man that had not eaten in 40 days and 40 nights. I know this whole world wants to tell you if you go a certain amount of days without eating, you'll die. But I thought if we go 10 days seeking God, we will not die. Why? Because we are on a mission for God. I know that for all that time that he fasted and he prayed, the first temptation that the devil gave to, to prove himself. <coughs> Command these stones that they be my prayer. You know, Jesus could have spoke the word. And those stones would have become loaves of bread. Amen. I believe that. But you see, the devil does not tell the Lord what to do. Amen. He does not. He might try to tell me and you what to do. And if we've not got ahead of that trial that's coming, if we don't get ahead of the temptation, he'll tell us what to do. And we'll go right ahead and we'll do that. Praise the Lord. Jesus began to kind of fight back a little bit. Church, you've got to, we've got to learn to fight that devil back. We've got to learn to fight him back. We will sit and we will listen to him all day long. He'll come in the morning when you get up and he starts on you and he's with you all day long. But did you see what Jesus did when the old devil began to come? He didn't just sit around and listen to him. He didn't get up and do what he said to do, but he began to fight back by the word of God. He began to tell him what the word of God said. Take the power and the anointing of God 
and use it to provide for the flesh. I thought this word of God told us not to make any provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, the desires that the flesh has. Glory to God. Pray the Lord how many that the Lord God is anointed to go and sing. Amen. People begin to get behind that, begin to enjoy that. You listen close to what I'm saying. Then they begin to like that kind of praise. And before long, they cut the CD. And after that, another CD. And at first, they're going to give it to everybody. But then the, the money starts to come in. And the next thing you know, they've got a band. And they're going on the road. And they're selling the anointing of God. And if they don't get out of it, I've watched them through the years when the anointing of God has left the old Come on out and have the devil begin to answer back. Said, 
Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? And he left them home. It all the night. And he moved on. And they left their blues. And they came. Come on, Spirit. I heard people say, I hope the devil knows my name. If you are a child of God, that devil knows your name. He might take it and try to get you to death yourself. But he knows you belong to God. Amen. Thank you. He knows it. That's why it comes. Tell you there's something wrong with you because you're facing the battle. There's other people they don't go through anything. They don't tell you to talk to you like that. You never see them go through anything. Well, but maybe you just don't see what they go through. But I promise you one thing: if they never go through anything any kind of battle with that, he already knows what to do. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. But I like to live in a way that that devil would say, Jesse, I know. Yeah. I hate him. But every time I've got enough people ready to quit, here he comes along and encourages them once again. I'm here to encourage you. Now let's get ahead of the trial. Let's get ahead. Let's prepare ahead of time. It's too late to wait for the tornado to come down and then try to go and lay things up and get ready and have a place to go. It's ready to already have a plan laid out. Yeah. What you going to do? Well, if you're the Son of God, just. Cast yourself down. It's written. He gives angels charge concerning you. Uh, to bear you up. Let's see. Any time you should dash your foot against the stone. Oh, it is written again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. How many people want to tempt God? Oh, God. I wish you didn't back your little folks. Lord, if I belong to you, let this happen. Lord, if I'm a man of God, do this for me. You're tempting God. Hello? Glory to God. Lord, I know I've been to you. I've fought the devil for months now. Praise the Lord, trying to pray that revival out. I've been going to hang for God about it. And ever since I've been trying to pray that, the devil tried to kill me, but I'm still standing here tonight. You have to be ready ahead of time. Jesus was prayed up. He was fasted up. He's ready. Amen. He knew the Word of God. He studied the Word. He was the Word. In robed in flesh, He was the Word of God. He was made flesh. He knew the Word. How about tell the devil trying to quote the Word to the Word? But I'm telling you, He wanted to make him doubt. Oh, again. A third time. Well, I can't get you to use the power of God to soothe your flesh. And I can't get you to harm yourself. Uh, again, the devil take him up to an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. He said to him, All these things will I give thee. Thou wilt fall down and worship. Don't, now Jesus, you don't have to command. Stone be made bread. You don't have to harm yourself. Just, just bow. Just bow. Of course, I'll give you friends. I'll give you acquaintances. I'll give you riches. You'll be a loved man, Jesus. Jesus was a lonely man. He was a lonely man, rejected by his own people. Here's the I'll give you all the kings of the world. All the glory that this world has to offer. All I want you to do is fall down and worship. You say what you want to. But many of God's people are falling down for a whole lot less than the kingdoms of this world. And the riches of glory. Praise the Lord. They're falling down for one at a time. They're bowing down for one. Just ease up, holy devil. And I'll bow down to you. Yeah, Lord, Pray, just let me go and I'll bow down to you. Yeah. Work this out for me. Just leave me alone. There are people that don't want to seek God because they're afraid of having to fight the devil when they start. Now, you know if you seek God to help you be humble, you're going to go through things. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know if you pray and ask God to give you patience, you're going to be tried. Now you know if you ask for charity, you're going to be put in the spot. Right. Make it easier just to sit back and let somebody else get a hold of it. you got enough trouble right now without stirring the devil up. Then said Jesus unto him. You know why he only tempted him three times? I'm fixing to read it to you. Jesus said, get to him, Satan. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Out of all that, he didn't even have food with him that long. You know why he did? For a testimony to me and you. For a witness to me and you. He said, get to him, Satan. For it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and Him only yes. shalt thou serve. Yes. Thank you, Lord. you don't know who got power? I'll tell you who got power. Jesus said, get thee hence. The Bible said, then the devil leaveth him. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. After all that, all Jesus had to do was say, get out of here. Yes, get the hands. Get away from me. Get out of my presence. Glory to God. Then the devil left him. Then the angel of the Lord came down to him and they ministered to him. But well, God sent that good spirit down to him. Yes. To begin to rebuild that strength in his son. That old devil wants to bark. He wants to howl. I'm telling you, Lord, the power of God is. I've said it before. I've said it again. He's like an old dog. Upon a good strong chain, he will run all the way to the end of that chain. He'll bark and he'll growl and he'll kick and he'll snarl, but the chain still holds him and he can't go no further. I wish there had a dog here to go take the chain up. I don't cat would get in the yard and that cat knew where that dog could go to and he just walked just outside of where that dog could get to because he knew he couldn't go no further. The devil can't break that chain if the Lord's right. Amen. Lord, that's Praise the Lord. Get thee hit, Satan. It's also written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. If we're serving our flesh, we're serving God in our flesh. If we're committing sin, we're serving God and sin. God takes second place to nobody. He's not going to sit around and wait for us to get back around and follow Him. Praise God. I'm here to tell you tonight you can stand the temptation. You can make it through the trial. But you've got to be a strong child of God to make it through that trial. We can't just plod it all through life. Never pray. Never fast. Don't go to the house of God. Don't work for God. And then here comes the enemy. And we want to say, God, Jesus humbled himself and suffered to be sold. 
He got baptized, obeyed his father, spirit came down, God bore witness of him, all oh, just to stand in the good blessings of God. And the next thing we know, the Spirit of the Lord leads him out into the wilderness to seek the face of God. To seek the face of God. And afterward, after 40 days and nights, then came the enemy. It was hungry. And there came the enemy. He threw a son of God. That's how he knew he was the son of God. He knows tonight, Jesus, is, he still knows he's the son of God. He knows right now he's seated at the right hand of his father. He knows that. Well, praise the Lord. I said he knows that. Glory to God. Don't let the devil fool you, children. Now, that might sound kind of funny, but I'm telling you the truth. Don't let the devil fool you. He knows there's a God. He knows He has a Son. He knows the power in the Spirit of God. He knows these things. But He wants to come to be you. He wants to tempt us. Say, I won't deny God. Little sister tonight, she began to say, I didn't want to ask, where's God? How could God allow this to happen? Praise the Lord. Sometimes, even by our own ambition, we live just a loose lifestyle, not dedicated to the Lord. And here come the enemy. Yeah. You might want you to guess tonight and ask where God is, but I tell you one thing. You don't have no doubts that there's a devil, do you? You don't have no doubt at all that there's a devil, do you? I mean, some people don't believe it. Ain't nobody here tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody in here tonight. It's of age and understanding knows there's a devil. Yes, there is. You know why you know? Because you've been around God all day long. Yes, yes. And he talks to your heart and he talks to your mind and he presses you. And he presses you at work and he comes in your home, drives the peace out of the house, makes a peace out of the marriage. But oh now, listen to me. I'm going to take it tonight. There's a way to get power over that enemy. But it comes to subjugating ourselves under the will of God. Hoping there, seeking the face of God. Prayed up when trouble hits us. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm saying us and we. You know why I'm saying that? Because I know where I have been. There have been times I was ready. And there have been other times that I have tried to get ready after it hit. You may think you're praying the whole bunch right now, but you let yourself get in trouble. And you see how much more praying that you do. Yes. Amen. You're not going to say I'm praying extra, but what we're doing is we're just now starting to pray like we're supposed to. Yes. So we can count God and you can have victory over that devil. I'm telling you, you can have victory over the enemy. He is not my God. I am not His servant. I was not put here to serve Him. You and I were not put here to fear Him. I'll tell you who we're supposed to fear. That great God that could destroy my life and then take my soul and cast me into hell. That's the one we're supposed to be. What about this? What about that? What if this is going on? What if that's happening? What about we just humble down and say, Oh God, the great God that knows everything, that has got power over every situation. Lord, help me humble.
But if we live in our flesh, we walk after the desire of our flesh, we spend our time carnally minded, I promise you when that enemy comes to tempt, we're going to give in to that temptation. Yes. Amen. If we're going to betray God in the good time, you know you're going to betray Him yes. in the hard time. Yes. If we're going to break over, we're going to go ahead and break over when things are going easy. You know you're going to break over. Yes. When the press gets on us, praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Well, I still believe that we've got a God that if we can touch Him, He can move at any time. Yes. Even if you and I sit and we say it looks like it's too late. Lord, if we touch God, not sit around and hold to touch Him, not sit around and talk about seeking Him, but really truly touch the throne of mercy, then God can move and it's never too late. He never misses His deadline. Now you can give Him a deadline. He don't think it takes me to you. We don't have any authority on the Lord. Lord, I need you to move up this day. My child, I'll do three weeks from there and you'll be happy when it does. Because he's God. And he knows what he's doing. But Jesus went ahead and he got ready. He got ready. The Bible said that he was led the Spirit in the wilderness to the tent. What did he do before the temptation came? Now the Holy Ghost made him know that he was going to be tempted. <coughs> He let him know that he was going to be tempted. I believe tonight I'm letting somebody know you're fixing to be tempted. And what did the Son of God do? He started fasting and he started praying. I don't know if you've ever read it that way before or not. I heard people say if the devil will come to the Son of God after 40 days and 40 nights of him fasting, he's going to come to me and you. But what the devil realized is he knew the devil was coming. He knew he was coming. You're going to fight the devil. You better be ready. Go ahead and get ready. Afterward. Afterward. I don't know what I'm to say, but it don't even sound just like our Father to speak to us. Now, if he wants to come to me and you, I'm going to be honest with you, probably stagger if he said it. We probably stagger a little bit and say, I want you fast 40 days and 40 nights. Lord, God, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't help but believe. I can't help but believe. And the Spirit let him know. Yes. I believe tonight God will let you know how many days you need to go. Yes. It might not be 40. It might be two. Right. Yes. It might be a day. Lord, it's whatever the Spirit tells your heart to do. Right. Now, do you still believe that there's a God that can tell you how much time to put yes. in? Do you still believe that there's a God that will tell you how many days to do it? If you do that, yes. God will move. I can't believe they have believed, He's the Son of God. I can't ever believe He already knew when the devil was going to come. Yeah. See, you and I don't know when the devil's going to come. We're supposed to watch and pray at all times. We're supposed to be watching and praying. You know how serious that the temptation is? That people look at it like it's nothing? Jesus taught His disciples to pray. And He began to tell us to pray to the Father to lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. How about that? I think I'm about that. You know, we ought to begin to pray. I mean, get out ahead of it. I feel just get ahead of the trouble. Get ahead of the trouble. Get ahead of the way for it. Get, get ahead of it. And say, God, don't lead me into this temptation. Lord, would you deliver me from this evil? I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know in what way, but God, you do. Don't leave me in turn. Oh, God, let me be ready. Let me be on me, Lord. Deliver me from this evil. You want to know what I'm You know why he had the power? To deliver us from evil. Because if we don't need set for blind is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Amen.
Leave it laying there unguarded. And then it'll be gone. I love the Lord. Love you a good way. When you get done, He's going to let you pray. 